Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, your IP address, as many of you will know, can be used to tag and track you while you are online, which for a lot of users obviously is a privacy concern. That's why web browsers like Brave already include a Brave Firewall and VPN, which is a paid subscription, as I have been posting. Firefox also has its own subscription VPN that you can sign up for. And Edge also comes... Uh, bundled with a Edge Secure Network, which, which is also a VPN that's been added into Microsoft Edge. Now it seems that Google wants to do something very similar with Chrome. And apparently um, they are planning to start testing a feature in Chrome that they are calling IP protection, which basically is designed uh, to protect your IP address through the use of proxy servers. So as mentioned, this is very similar to a VPN service or a service like Tor, which, by the way, has also been bundled already into the private browsing of Brave. So you can open a new private window with Tor, as many of you may know. And apparently this new IP protection for Google Chrome is going to start being tested with version 119. Now, currently we are sitting on version 118. So from version 119 through to version 125, uh, Google is going to be testing this new IP protection, which they define and sum up as following, and I'm quoting... IP protection is a feature that sends third-party traffic for a set of domains through proxies for the purpose of protecting the user by masking their IP address from those domains. So as mentioned, very similar to the Tor and a VPN service. Now at this stage, um, RP, RP protection will be an opt-in feature. And it's going to be rolling out to a limited subset of users where Google say they will monitor the so-called behavior trends, which for some I think might be a privacy concern on its own. But nonetheless, um, it's going to be rolling out in stages, starting with Chrome version 119. And it's going to be region specific at first. And apparently uh, Google says that's to ensure a learning curve. So obviously they don't want to just throw this out to the general public. They want to um, A-B test this, with this uh, feature with a limited subset of users. And um, it's going to be rolling out uh, for those with a US-based IP address at, at first. So initially, it's going to be rolling out if you have a US-based IP address. And obviously, you would need to be signed into Google Chrome to test the feature. And um, Google has said uh, to kind of um, curb abuse because obviously, you're not going to have free reign uh, with this new IP protection. It's going to be very similar to Microsoft Edge as an example, where currently in Edge, you only get five gigabytes of data per month with the VPN. So at first, it's going to be very similar to that. Um, it's going to have a cap on it. And you are going to receive a quota of access tokens. So obviously, if you use up those access tokens when this feature has been tested, um, obviously, in a certain time period, you won't be able to carry on using the RP protection. And at this stage, um, as mentioned, rolling out from version 119 through to version 125. And this is also very similar to Apple's hard IP address feature, as many of you may also know. But it's still early days. And I wanted to put it out there because obviously a lot of viewers of this channel use Google Chrome, including myself. And I thought it was interesting that obviously Brave, Firefox, Edge, and now Google Chrome wanting to do the same thing as those other web browsers. And I'm going to keep a close eye on this one. And, and of course, if any more information does become available, I will post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.